Yeah. Old weather shield, Christmas time. They know how to do it. Any better than that. I don't no. know if it was always that fun growing up, but sure. they, <laughs> they have a perfect they, treat. I will say they figured it out. Good job with the shield. <laughs> they it looks like fun. They a good job with Halloween. I like to go walk around there. Yeah. Everything. Old weather shield Fantastic. is where it's at. Um, and they had a nice night for it, which was yes, great. Yes, absolutely. And Seasonal. tomorrow will be, yes, tomorrow will be really good too. The question is what's in store as we head through this month. So let's jump into it and take a look. Here is your December preview. Today's average high temperature is 45 degrees. The average low temperature is 29. By the end of the month, you probably guess where this is going. It's cooler. Average high temperature in the 30s, average low temperature right around 20 degrees. And because it's December, you probably know this is the home of the shortest day of the year. And pretty much all this month is some of the shortest days of the year. Only nine hours and eight minutes. That's on the winter solstice, which is December 21st. However, after we get past that, the days do start getting longer slowly day after day. Let's take a look at some of the records. 76 degrees is the warmest temperature that we have ever seen in December. This is wild back in 1998 but not as wild as this. Look at how cold it has been in December before. 18 degrees below zero. That happened in 1917. And okay, this, this winter meant business. 45 inches of snow just in December alone. That happened in 1945. All right, where do we go here moving forward here? The first week of December, temperatures are generally around or above average. I do want to tell you, see that number about a week from today, 43 and Thursday? I think that's a sign of what's ahead. Temperatures will start to kind of flip and trend colder than average past the seven day forecast. So put that in the back of your mind here. I think uh, December may get off to a bit of a feisty start after we get through this week. So to be continued. For now though, we're looking good heading through the day tomorrow. High pressure almost directly overhead. Lots of sunshine temperatures. Again, right around average for this time of year and not much wind, which is great too. But another warm, wet and windy day for Saturday. This will not be as intense as the round that we just got through yesterday. I think we could see gusts up to around 35 miles per hour inland and close to 40 for the Connecticut shoreline, which is not as intense as 40 to 50 mile per hour wind gusts, which is what we had in place yesterday. But still, we have rain out there for the morning, for most of the afternoon. We may be able to dry things out, though, as we head towards the end of the day. And then heading into your Sunday, this is going to be the pick of the weekend. Breezy, cooler temperatures, and overall, just a nice day to spend outside. And again, just taking a look at some of those winds I wanted to show you on Saturday, noticing that they're not too bad inland. Gusts in the 30s, but close to 40 for the shoreline and for southeastern Connecticut. Heading through the evening tonight, things are quiet. We did have a couple hit or miss snow showers out there today, especially in northwestern Connecticut, but those are over now. Low temperatures dropping back through the 20s, heading through the day tomorrow, mostly sunny skies, less wind, and overall a pleasant day to kind of ease you into the weekend. Now, 57 on Saturday, you're not going to be able to really enjoy because of the rain. I'll talk more about that and kind of show you the future radar in just a little bit. But again, know that we will get a quite a bit of it, about a quarter of an inch to three quarters of an inch of rain. Um, overall, not enough to cause any issues, but just enough that you're probably not making too many outdoor plans on Saturday. And then on Sunday for the second half of the weekend, we are dry with highs in the mid 40s. All right, let's take a look at your seven day forecast heading into next week. This is Tuesday. Another round of rain is likely, and it looks like that will end early on Wednesday morning. Here's a look at your shoreline seven day forecast 50s on Saturday, Sunday in the 40s and then rain Tuesday into Wednesday morning. Coming up, we'll take a look at the long range outlook. All right, winter and everything that comes with it is heading our way from bitter cold to blinding snow. The Fox 61 Weather Watch team will get you prepared for the wonders and dangers winter can bring. Tune in next Wednesday, December 7th at 7 p.m. for Winter Watch, a Fox 61 weather special. We can't wait for you to see it.